a routine to help me go to bed because I have really bad insomnia. I guess wonder why. And I totally blew it on this project. Hey guys, Journal Girl, AKA Sammy here. And have you ever gotten a project idea in your head and you just cannot let it go? It's like tunnel vision. I need to get this project done. I need to do this thing. I have this crazy idea. Well, that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about Sam getting crazy about an idea. I, I joined the, uh, the cult of art journal of recently. Um, I was a notebook therapy girl myself, um, but then they took too long to get to me and I'm an impatient human. And I got the most recent subscription box and in it was a journal cover. And you kind of slide your journal in here, but it's, it's, it's awkward, okay? It's awkward fit. And it doesn't have any pockets and I like, putting things in pockets. So the other day I, I was having kind of a mm, not good mental health day. And on those days, anything that gets me going, anything that gives me energy or gets me wanting to get up is something that I want to pursue. So my idea was this, what if I go, because Michaels and Hobby Lobby have all of these covers for all of these planners. What if I go find one that would fit my journal, which is an A5, A5 and take out the rings and then I have the foil quill and draw on it and make my own cool looking journal cover, right? Easy peasy, right? No, not easy peasy. Michaels doesn't carry the journal covers in store anymore. They're all online only and they were really cool and they were on sale and everything like that, but they were still a little expensive for me to just play with. And I wanted like, oh my gosh, I have ADHD like really bad. And so when I want something, I want it now, even if it's not perfect. So um, I didn't think about Amazon and ordering anything from there because I wanted to do it like right now. I had to do it right now. After my disappointing trip to Michael's, where I did buy the bolder one of this, <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby. But I did find their covers that they have for their journals. Now, size comparison, right? It's a lot bigger. I'm not showing the cover because I don't want you to see what I did. But it's a lot bigger than both my journal and what I had before. And so I like having a smaller one because I can throw my book in my bag. I can throw it anywhere. I can carry it with me. It's got everything I need in it. Uh, addresses, drawings, therapy notes. It's just, it's my book. That's how I do stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm still going to do this. And I found a video on YouTube and I'm going to link it down below on how to take the rings out of the binder. It is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> You need two pairs of pliers, a lot of arm strength, and the willingness to destroy something. Luckily, my cover was 50% off, so it was $13 for me to kind of play with this idea that I had. We're not going to talk about the other foil quill because that can be used on other projects, so that doesn't count, right? I'm doing craft math. I'm doing craft math. I got home, I used my strength, and I got that out. I like pockets. I have one of those little... Um, which one is it? I don't know. I'll put it right here, the name of it. I can't remember. Um, but it's one of those little printers that you can carry with you and you can print out stickers of, of photographs and stuff. So like this little photo of me, I printed there. And I have a selfie that I took with a friend today that I'm going to print out and put in here as well, which is really nice to do. Um, this is a Nikita Gill thing that I liked. So I just kind of cropped it from Instagram and, and threw it in there. So. I want to keep those in there because right now they're in my pencil case and I don't always carry my pencil case. The thing that I mostly carry with me is um, a big ballpoint pen that I took from my therapy place a little while ago. Like it just kind of came with me. I put it in the, I think it's actually in here. No, it's a different one. Okay. Uh, Cause I really like drawing with ballpoint pens. So I was like, okay, I got the rings out. It's a little big but we're gonna do this because the brain is saying, do this. I have like a routine to help me go to bed because I have really bad insomnia. I guess wonder why. And I totally blew it on this project. What I did is I drew what I wanted to put on the cover of the um, journal cover on my iPad. 
And then I found out on the internet how to make it so that whenever I tried to trace it on the tracing paper, it didn't like do stuff because that was really annoying. Traced it on tracing paper, put it down on the journal cover, and then you literally heat this up and you, you write on it. You just go over your um, template. The limitation of the foil quill when you're doing it with the actual pen is that you can't see placement. So you need to cut as close to the thing that, you're, that you've traced as possible and figure out placement because once you pick that up, it's really hard to place it down perfectly again. So that's the thing. But they do make a tip for your um, Cricut. So if you're one of those people with one of those, you can get the tip and then that can just kind of trace over it over and over again if it needs to. Let it warm up because I didn't do that. This is how mine came out. I'm gonna come over here. So it's really fun. Here's the design. I used the bold tip and then went, oh, that's too bold. And then I used the regular tip and I was like, okay, now it's, it's heated up enough. But this is what I mean about you can't go over it. So I originally did this in um, the teal that you see down here and it, it wasn't working. And so I tried to do it again in the blue and it uh, kind of didn't work. But I was like, this is really cool. Guess who has two more waiting that have say shipped on Amazon so that I can keep playing with this. Editing Sammy here, I just wanted to show you what happened with those um, that I bought from Amazon. So um, this is one of them. Uh, it didn't exactly go to plan up here. I actually traced that. But down here it's really cool because it actually like melted into the plastic. And this is what it looks like converted. And I just used buttons. This is mine because, you know, we all know what my favorite color is. <laughs> And I freehanded this on here. Um, I did this portion first, then I did the silver down here and here. And again, I tried to write and it doesn't work the best. And then when you open it, what happened was is um, I super glued my fingers together cause I couldn't, cause the, this part ripped up here <laughs> and then this button didn't listen to me. So I super glued my fingers together. So my nail, um, I gotta go get my nails redone tomorrow. Here's my, this is my um, swatches. I don't wanna move the table too much of my Koi watercolor markers. So that can just kind of hang out in there. You know, and it's a little stiff cause you know, it's new, but I'm sure using it, I'll get more out of it. Um, it also has a pen loop here and a pen loop up here and a bunch of pockets. This is just some fabric that I really quickly super glued in the middle and then of course here is my beautiful journal and it actually is a really tight fit um, so it's not it's not gonna come out um, and then it's a magnetic clasp and um, that's what is all to it back to the regularly scheduled video which i am in the middle of editing and should have up very soon bye I just, I love getting into projects like this where I'm just getting my hands like into it. I'm doing stuff. I'm playing with things that I haven't played with before. I'm utilizing tools I haven't utilized in a while, like my iPad and the pen. And I'm just kind of making something fun for myself, something unique, you know, like my, um, my book has my name on it. Yeah. It's just kind of fun. Um, I know the foil pen isn't for everyone, so, you know, just in the comments below, tell me about a time where you got a project idea in your head that drove you crazy and you had to do it and maybe you did a bunch of them and then that became your thing. Or you did it and you didn't like how it turned out. So you were like, well, that was dumb, but at least now you have new craft supplies and you've learned something new. That's just one of the fun things about being somebody who's into journaling, art, crafts, shopping at the Michaels, and surprisingly Walmart. Walmart has a bunch of really cool stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and share, and I will see you tomorrow. I really hope that if your day was good today, it is good tomorrow. And if it wasn't, I hope tomorrow is a little better for you. Bye.